2020 Visions. <sighs> Madeline Hall, February 1961. Dear... Parents. I've fallen in love with a wonderful woman. Belinda. Will you stay with me tonight? My one true love. <laughs> Natasha. You screwed my mother on that bed and never said a single word about it. Natasha, Natasha, I hate you. Leave me alone. Lucy. I'm expecting pregnant. So I'm just the stud. Get out of my flat, bastard. Alec, love. Belinda. I'm nearly certain that I'm two months gone. Belinda, my one true love. Episode three. <sighs> Lucy. <sighs> What's up? The potato's boiling over. Can I help? What did I expect from Nasha, Natasha? I wonder how different things might have been if she had come with Belinda to my recital all those years ago. Sixty years ago. God! Nasha was twenty, and I was twenty, and she had those same gorgeous eyes. It wasn't her birthday, though, so probably no presents, and certainly no unwrapping. And she did say, I never need explain. Maybe it's not surprising that I didn't tell her the whole truth. Not then, anyway. It was bad enough when Belinda... When I lost her. I couldn't bear the thought of going through all that pain a second time. But there was more pain, plenty of pain, and not just with Natasha. Lucy! God! How could I have been so stupid as to go searching again after twenty years and searching for her daughter Lucy, too? God! My moment of millennium madness! Even as Belinda was making a man of me, Lucy must have been still wearing nappies. Forty years on, we were both consenting adults, of course. But she was young enough to be my daughter, and she knew it, and she knew how to unwrap me round her little finger. I remember finding her in that wine bar in Walton, of all places. What a dump! Her mother was right. She was reading Lady Chatterley's Lover. That should have been enough of a warning sign. Is something bothering you? I'm sorry. It's just I could not help looking at your book. Rollicking good read, I say. You'd let your servants read it then? My servants? The court case. It's the 40th anniversary. There's a report of it in here. The Lady Chatterley obscenity trial was big news when I was with Belinda, of course. And here it was again, 40 years later, back again on every front page. Saw you looking at me. Nervous? Then I watched you veering round, all indecisive, and next minute here you are. What a surprise. I just thought I seemed to recognise... Your face. It was a hard face. She was calculating. That makes a nice contrast. It's usually the last bit of me men look at nine times in ten. I didn't mean... But she had the eyes. The irresistible eyes. You take an interest in obscene books, though. The newspaper report. Joke! Laugh! You must... Are you a model? Was. Fashion? No. Just my body. 
a bitch goddess thing, eh? So, Lady Chatterley and you have spent a night or two together? <laughs> Lawrence is a favourite, I must admit. Who are you, then, in the canon? There must be a man somewhere in Lawrence you're particularly like. Who am I, then? You're Mick. Michaelis? Thanks a bunch. I had a hunch you weren't too keen on him. No, I'm a simple sort of fellow. I'm more of a mellows. Where did that come from? Anyway, she leapt on it. Always game for an adventure? Ah, bloody ha! What I meant was that I keep out of the world. I'm not too good with people. That's nearer the truth. I've certainly not seen you here before. You can't have been in Wilton very long. I'm hoping to connect with... Goodness, I'll be late. Nice meeting you. Oh, must you go? I want... Can you not wait a moment? Are you Lucy? Yes. It's just, I knew you're... I... There's something that I have to tell you. Is there? Well... Not now, when you're in such a hurry... Maybe we could meet again and have a bite of lunch together. Here, what do you say? Idiot. Big mistake. Perhaps I might do. Friday? Yes. All right, then. Friday, one o'clock. You win. I'm hooked. Must run. The worst of it was that I was hooked. Medicine. Poison, more like. There's only one place for this lot. I just had to see her again. Those eyes. I got there on the dot of one, picked up two glasses of Chardonnay and chose a quiet table for two. She arrived almost immediately. I'd much prefer if we sat over there on the non-smoking side. With Lucy, there was never any question of who was in charge. That's better. Cheers. Yes, cheers. Well, come on. I'm all ears. I think I knew your mother, Nasha. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky you. She hasn't sent you to reform me. Not at all. It's 20 years since I last saw her. Lucky to get shot of her, then. Why tell me, though? She and I don't hit it off. It's been gnawing at me all these years. I need to tell someone. I don't do therapy. Unless you were inclined to share some juicy info. That would be a different matter. We fell in love. How sweet! And did you get her knickers off? Oh, she knew what she wanted from me. Must you be so crude? I'll bet you didn't, though. She was forever going on about the sanctity of marriage. <laughs> and she, a divorcee herself. And she knew how to get it. The fact is that we practically did get married. You never did. She never said. Go on, you're kidding me. No, I swear. Although we were a little unconventional, we made off for the Adriatic, close to Venice. Just the pair of us. And there, in an old church, we held a wedding service. Just we two. No witnesses, no nothing. No one knew but us. Sounds pretty daft. Well, after the honeymoon, we planned to make it formal with a normal civil service back home. Anyhow, we had a row. No! I can't remember what it was about. No! And she walked out on me. And that was it. The end. I should have told her. I could have spared myself all that pain. Impressive. Honeymoon, no less, and then escape to total freedom. I can tell you, she would soon have stitched you up when you were hitched. You ought to count yourself as lucky. I know. I was stuck with her for nearly 20 bloody years. At least that was the truth. Are you still modelling? I wish. Good God, no. 
Not for maybe ten years. No one loves a fairy when she's forty. You shouldn't do yourself down. It was too... I just got sick of it. I couldn't stick the people. The whole scene. I stashed away a load of cash, enough to see me through. Took a degree in economics. Now I write. I'm freelance. Wow. Don't get excited. It's obscure stuff. Articles on eurobonds, financial futures, traded options. You've done so well. You're quite high-powered. What was I doing? Nah. I've made a go of it, though. You've acquitted yourself very well. I guess things ought to be less fraught between the two of you. No way. If she knew... It's true she phones me up from time to time and moans at me about my misspent life. That used to piss me off no end. So I took to pretending to do all the things she hoped I'd never. Taking dope ten times a day and having it away with every stupid man in sight. I do it out of spite. She loves to whinge. I love to make her cringe. Apart from that, I'd say we hate each other. Fascinating. What of you? You found a new girlfriend, of course. Somehow I never got around to it. You've not gone gay in your old age. No, no, no. no. So, what do you do to, you know, keep fit? I, well, I go without. Incredible. That was a come on, if ever I heard one. I moved in to kiss her. But she was having none of it. Excuse me! Lucy! I was right, though. She turned out to be very keen on keeping fit, as she called it. It's just that the moment had not yet come. Her ladyship was in control, and I was just the gamekeeper. At least there was never any pretense between us. That was the best thing about it. Lucy wanted dirt to throw at her mother, and she was happy to pay for it. I suppose it wasn't all that surprising. Like mother, like daughter. I remember how Nasha seemed equally delighted to throw dirt at her daughter. But there the similarity ended. Any keeping fit was strictly subject to contract. 2020 Visions by Paddy Gormley With Maurice Thorogood as Alec Georgia Riley as Alex Carer in his 80s And his three lovers Sarah Laurie as Lucy in the year 2000 Sophie Morris Shepherd as Natasha, 1980 Olivia Busby as Belinda, 1960 2020 Visions is a 2020 audio drama company production.